Hey guys, in this quick video, we'll take a walk through what Remote Winbox is and how we help Microtik users manage their fleet of Microtik routers. To start off with, what we're looking at now is the dashboard that you'll see right after logging in. You can see that there are menu items on the left hand side, and then across the top, we show how many routers are tracked by the system, which ones are online and offline. And then below, you'll see each of your routers that's configured and be able to add more routers to the system. Once you've created your account and logged in, it's really easy to add routers. You just click Add Router, add a nickname and fill out the form, click to copy the config that's generated for your particular router, right click and paste that config into a new terminal window on your Microtik Winbox, and within one minute, you'll see it show up at the dashboard with the online status. At that point, you'll be able to Winbox to your router by using the URL you find here. If you copy and paste this URL into a Winbox session, you'll be able to remotely connect to that router. Once you've added a router, it's really easy to come in and edit that router. And you can change the nickname, select tags, and set in an address, preferably with latitude and longitude, for the map feature. The online button is clickable and will take you to learn more info about this router. You can see we're drawing a real-time dashboard of the bandwidth flowing through the router, and you can get more info about the router and if there's any wireless or LTE devices connected to it, that info will show up. Tags are useful for sorting, filtering, and searching on your routers once you've got a bunch of them in the system. Adding a tag is as easy as putting a name and hitting save. In the security section, you'll see the IP addresses that you've used this system dashboard from. The remote Winbox system automatically firewall blocks any attempt that doesn't come from these allowed IPs. And anytime you want to update your system and make it more secure, you can remove these allowed IPs. And the dashboard will let you know when you come to a new location that you need to add to the system in order for your routers to be able to be reachable. The backup section of the dashboard is where you'll find change control for your routers, be able to make a new backup, and take a look at all of the backup snapshots that have happened. The system automatically takes backups for any routers that are scheduled to be backed up once per day but you can always click Create New Backup Now, and we'll take a backup right there on the spot. You can see that it was just that easy to start a backup now. Now that I've got some backups to take a look at for this home audience one, I'm gonna view the backups. You can see here the date and timestamp of each backup that was taken, and I've got a whole bunch to choose from because this router has been taking backups for a long time. I can pick any date and time and either view or download. But really cool is this compare button. Now I can take today's backup and compare it to a backup from a long time ago. And I can see what's different in the configuration. When I hit compare files, I'm going to see all of the differences highlighted in red and green between what was on the router in the past and what's there today, making it very easy to understand what changed between now and then. Next up is our firmware manager, which will show you all of the firmware levels of all of the routers that are in the system and allow you to update them if I want to update just one router, I can select it here and schedule the update. If I select now, the router will be updated at the top of the hour. But more typically, you'll use the search functionality to find the routers that you want, perhaps searching by a tag, and then selecting all of those routers, and then clicking schedule update so that in the maintenance window, sometime between your local time at midnight or 2 a.m., you can then select your time zone and schedule that update. Once I've done that, I can update an entire fleet of Microtik routers with new firmware in the maintenance window without anyone having to take additional action in the middle of the night. The system also keeps a log of all of the updates that have happened so far. The next thing we can do is the most flexible feature in Remote Winbox. This will allow you to run any arbitrary command on some or all of your routers. As an example here, I'm going to troubleshoot and say I want all routers selected here to do a trace route out to the internet so that I can see what hops they're taking to get to their destination. So I'll give my job a name, and then I'll enter the CLI command that I would like to run. And finally, I'll hit run command. And I'll get a warning that, hey, you're gonna be running some commands on all of your routers. Are you sure you wanna do that? 
Whatever command you've entered is now executing against all of your routers, allowing you to troubleshoot problems, run an inventory, audit your network, or bulk update any configuration items, and more. Now let's take a look at what my results are by clicking on the icon to show the logs. Now we can see that for each router, we ran this trace command, and we can see what the paths were to go out to the internet. This could be useful for a service provider that's trying to understand what paths their tra customer traffic takes to get out to the internet, as well as look for packet loss problems or high delay. Now let's take a look at Login Manager. Login Manager is a way to manage user logins to Microtik router boards without having to have a local user on every single router. So imagine that you hire a new employee and you've got to add that user to 100 of your routers. That's a task that's going to take a few minutes per router. With Login Manager, you add the user one time and it automatically gets applied to all of your routers. Clicking on Documentation and Support will allow you to take a look at our documentation, both written and YouTube videos, for how to use some of the features of Remote Winbox. In your profile, be the way that you see your account, can change your password, can sign up for the beta program, or reset your two-factor information. The beta program in particular is where you can try out the newest features for Remote Winbox by selecting that you agree to give us feedback and to the terms of the beta program. Now that I've signed up for beta features, you can see I have a new menu item called beta features here, and I can take a look at the map, for example, which is currently a beta feature. By clicking on map, I can now see all of the routers in my system that are online and offline at a glance in the map view. And I can zoom in on any area to see more details about those routers being online and offline. Finally, if you know someone who would be a great fit for Remote Winbox, go ahead and click on our Refer a Friend link, where you can use our affiliate portal to earn a commission on new account signups that are referred from you. Thanks for joining me today.